this video, we're going to look at factoring a sum of squares, something like a squared plus b squared, where there's two terms, so I'm thinking factoring tricks. Uh, they both have squares, so how's that going to factor? Well, one idea I've seen before is students always try and factor it to a plus b squared, which I guess makes sense. You're thinking distribute the 2, but we can't distribute the 2 onto anything with a plus in it. Remember, this is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which is not a squared plus b squared. So that doesn't work. So how are you going to factor it? There really turns out to be no way to factor this. We say that it is not factorable, or that a sum of squares is always prime. It's like trying to write 3 as a product of numbers. You can't write 3 as 1.5, no, no, we can't do decimals. Sum of squares is prime. That means it cannot be factored. So if we see something like x squared plus 9, this is a trick question. I'm setting you up. You need to know that that is prime. A sum with squares is always prime. Well, there is one thing we have to be careful of, and that is the greatest common factor. In the second example, 32a squared b plus 50b cubed, there is a greatest common factor that we can factor out of that. Um, both divisible by 2, and they also both have a b in them. So if we factor out 2b, we're left with 16a squared plus 25b squared. And yes, there's two terms, and yes, there's squares, but it's a sum of squares. And a sum of squares is always prime, so we can't factor any more. So the best we can say is this is 2b times 16a squared plus 25b squared. Do not continue to factor this. That is the cardinal sin of factoring. You cannot factor a sum of squares.